what happens when an aircraft loses every shred of control, yet somehow refuses to fall. In November 2003, a routine DHL cargo flight, Airbus A300, registration OODLL, call sign Oscar Oscar Delta Lima, lifted off from Baghdad International Airport on what should have been an uneventful 20-minute hop. Three crew members, thousands of pounds of freight, and a sky thick with tension from an active war zone. They had flown this route before. They knew the risks. But nothing could prepare them for what was coming. Minutes after takeoff, a sudden flash streaked upward from the ground. A surface-to-air missile slammed into the aircraft's left wing, instantly igniting fuel lines and shredding hydraulic systems. The cockpit filled with warnings. The flight controls. Every aileron, every elevator, every rudder went dead. The A300 was now a 150-ton glider with no way to steer. The aircraft rolled violently left, threatening to enter an unrecoverable spiral. But the crew refused to surrender. With training, instinct, and sheer defiance, they searched for anything, anything, that still responded. We have engine response. And they found it, the engines. By carefully increasing thrust on one side and reducing it on the other, they discovered they could steer using asymmetric power. It was crude, slow, and brutally unforgiving, but it worked. We need more differential thrust. applying power now. For nearly 20 agonizing minutes, they fought gravity, fire, and physics themselves, coaxing the wounded jet back toward the runway with movements measured in seconds and inches. There were no second chances, no backup systems, only raw skill and the shrinking strip of concrete ahead. Against all odds, Udell touched down, hard, fast, burning, but alive. The crew evacuated safely. A missile meant to destroy had instead forged one of aviation's most astonishing survival stories. This is not a tale of luck. It is a testament to human focus under impossible pressure. A moment when the skies tried to claim a victory, and three aviators told fate not today, 